In this video, let me show you how we can create more depth and make the atmosphere of our images look better with side light in Lightroom. Make sure to download the RAW file from the link in the description of the video to follow along and now let's begin. As always, I'm going to show the whole editing process, so if you're just here for the tutorial part, make sure to check the chapters below. First off, I'm going to crop this image. You can see it's a little bit tilted, I want to fix that and let's slightly rotate the whole image. I'm also going to turn this into a panorama aspect ratio. That means I'm going to take a bit off from the top and from the bottom. It just fits the scene a lot better. Then next up, let's head into the basic panel and right away change the profile from Adobe Color to Adobe Standard. This will help make the darkest areas of the image just a little bit brighter. And then I will continue by increasing the exposure in order to get back detail from those very dark areas. I'm going to pump up the exposure a lot. As you can see, image quality wise, this is totally fine. The only problem we have is now the highlights are a little bit blown out. To fix that, we are simply going to bring down the highlight slider. I do want to have some kind of heavy highlights in this scene, but I think right around here is a pretty good spot. The highlights are still kind of bright, but we have a lot more detail on the far left side. Beautiful. Now the dark areas still are too dark. What we can do to fix that is to bring up the shadows a bit. And I'm going to bring up the blacks as well. Doing this will reduce the overall contrast of the image. That's not a big deal. However, we are, by doing this, we're also creating some kind of soft look, which always looks good for landscape scenes like this with a lot of light. Okay, now taking a look at the histogram, you can see exposure wise, this is looking really, really good. What I want to do next is to adjust the white balance because the whole scene feels a lot too cold. I want to change that. I want to bring back some autumn vibes here. I'm going to bring up the temperature for that. Again, I'm going to raise it quite a lot because I really love these warmer tones. At this point, we can notice some heavy green tones in this image, which I don't like that much. So to counter that problem, I'm also going to bring up the tint very gently, just getting rid of some of these green tones. And then what we can do as well is to add a bit of texture making the details of the image look sharper. I'm also going to bring up the clarity which will push the midtones contrast. And then since I want this image to have a glowing look, I'm going to bring down the dehaze very gently. With negative dehaze, we really have to be careful with brighter images like these because negative dehaze will increase the brightness as well. But that's looking good so far. Then let's bring up the vibrance to push the saturation of the image a bit like that. And that's the image after the basic adjustments. Let's compare two before. You can see we have a lot more details in the darkest areas. The highlights are a bit brighter, but that's what I want, especially when I want to add side light in the upcoming step. And we are going to do that with masking. So let's open up the masking panel. Now, why do I introduce side light to the scene? We already have some light coming in from the left side and I want to make this light just a bit stronger, which will give the scene a little more depth because our brain recognizes depth through light and shadow. So making one side of the image brighter and the other side of the image darker, we can kind of improve the whole 3D effect for this image. Let me start using a linear gradient covering the left side like this. I want to cover a pretty large area, something like that maybe. And I want to bring up the exposure. As I push the exposure, since we're already working with bright areas, we really need to be careful not to overexpose anything, but that's looking good. I'm also going to bring up the blacks. This will help make the light feel a little bit softer. And I'm going to bring up the temperature to give the light a little more warmth this way. Now the background is looking really, really good. But of course, there is this dark area in the center of the image. And this spot really doesn't need any more brightness. I want this area to be a lot darker to have more contrast. So we need a way to get rid of this part from that mask. I'm going to subtract and I'm going to start with the color range mask. Also, let's make sure to show the overlay so we can see what's going on. Now with uh, the color range mask eyedropper, I'm going to click somewhere right in here in the darker parts. And instantly that's looking pretty good 
for a starting point. What I'm going to do next is to bring up the refine slider. So something like this, which will help filter out the edges right here. And for the rougher details, I'm going to subtract a brush. Let's make sure the feather of the brush is set to 100. And then I'm going in here and I'm just going to brush over this. I'm going to make the brush a little bigger using the mouse wheel just to be quicker. Okay, let's deactivate the overlay and let me turn off this mask to see the difference from before to after. And you can notice with just this one mask, we made the whole atmosphere of the scene look a lot better this way. All right, now let's work on the other side. We have created light on the left side. I'm now going to use a linear gradient to make the right side darker. So let me just cover the right side like this. I'm always going to tilt the, the linear gradient a little bit to have a more natural effect. So maybe like this. What I'm going to do here is to simply bring down the exposure. Again, we need to pay close attention to the histogram because we also don't want to introduce any clipping in the shadows. But again, this is looking fine. What we can do as well, instead of pushing the whole exposure down for the whole area right here, I can use a color range mask and I want to select the blue part of the sky like this. Then I'm going to click on those two dots, choose intersect mask width, and choose linear gradient again. And again, I'm just creating a linear gradient over the right side, targeting those blue areas specifically. And again, I'm going to bring down the exposure. You could also try to bring down the blacks, specifically targeting the darker areas. And what we can do as well is to bring down the temperature, which will give those darker blue tones a little stronger blue color. This is just a nice bonus for some added color contrast. All right, I think I wanna further work on that. I'm going to use another color range mask. Again, click somewhere right here in the blue part of the sky. This time I'm subtracting a linear gradient. I just want to target the upper right corner like this. So here I'm going to, again, bring down the exposure. This is almost like a polarization effect, looking really, really good so far. I'm also going to bring up the, the contrast just to push it a little further here. Okay, that's looking nice. And I think that's it for this whole side light effect. Let me turn off all the masks so you can see the difference from before to after. It's kind of a subtle change, but it's really transforming the whole scene. Another benefit of doing this with the light coming in from the left and the shadow coming in from the right side, we kind of can lead the viewer's eye towards the center right here where we want it to be. So that's pretty cool, but we are not done with the masking yet. What I want to do as well, let me create a radial gradient with which I'm going to target those yellow bright trees right here in the center. I want to give them a bit more attention. So let me just pull up the exposure, making this area brighter. I'm also going to bring up the temperature, making the fall foliage just more prominent this way. I'm also going to shift the hue slightly downwards. So we're going to create some more orange tones like this. And let's push the saturation a bit like that. Perfect. Now there's one more thing I want to change and that's the water in the foreground. To target the water, we can use a simple linear gradient, but we can also use a select landscape mask. In here, Lightroom will give you a bunch of different options. I'm going to choose the water selection right here and click on create mask. What I want to do with the water is to bring up the clarity, which will make the reflection pop a lot more. So just like that. At the same time, I'm going to bring down the exposure, making the water a little bit darker for a more natural look. And maybe let's also bring up the contrast here. All right, nice. And that's it for the masking adjustments. So again, let me turn off all the masks to see the difference from before to after much, much better. Now we can start working on the colors a bit. So let's go open up the color mixer tab. I am going to work on the hue first because I want the fall colors to stand out a little more. Therefore, I'm going to bring down the orange hue, which will nicely shift the tree foliage as you can see. I'm also going to bring down the yellow hue just a little bit. 
And I even want to bring down the blue hue because I want to have a more cyan looking color in the sky. I think that works great with the foliage of the trees in the foreground. Perfect. Then let's also work on the saturation. As I said, I want to push the autumn foliage. So let's bring up orange. Let's bring up yellow. And we could even bring up the green tones. So maybe like this. I do think I want to push the saturation for the sky as well. I might dial it back down later, but for now, I think a stronger blue tone looks great for this image. We can also use a bit of split toning, so let's open up the color grading panel. We can use the highlights and the midtones to further enhance the autumn foliage. So let me show you. I'm going to head into the highlights first. I'm going to set up the hue to a to an orange color tone. So right around here maybe. And let's bring up the saturation just a little bit. Okay, should be fine. Then let's go into the midtones. Again, I'm using a warmer color tone for the fall foliage. And let's bring up the saturation again. Beautiful, that looks great. Now one more thing we can do with the color grading. Let's go down into the calibration tab. I just want to push the blue primary saturation giving this whole scene more colors. I'm also going to slightly bring down the blue primary hue. Not too much, just a little bit, but that's looking great. Now the only thing left to do, of course, the sharpening in the details panel. So let's open up the details panel and bring down the radius all the way while increasing the details all the way up. Then we want to apply some masking while holding down the Alt key to nicely target all of that landscape something like this and then let's bring up the amount of sharpening and we are done editing this image so i hope this little sidelight trick will be useful for your images let me know what you think of this effect if this was helpful make sure to like comment and maybe even subscribe to this channel i would highly appreciate that thank you very much for watching and see you all next time